Hello, hello everybody. We are going to continue our Assassin's Creed Brotherhood experience. And uh, while I was like uh, making sure everything functioned, because you can never be too careful with these games, uh, apparently we have a uh, a few assassins who have reached super max level and are ready to graduate assassin school. So instead of going to do the thing that I was going to do, which was uh, <laughs> start the actual mission, we're going to graduate an assassin. I recognize uh, some of those words. Of our creed is revealed through these words. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. It feels like those... Like, th that should really be the arc phrase of, like, the entire series, but it only seems to pop up every now and then. I wonder what that does for our assassins. Is game going to tell... Loud! Alright, that was loud. <laughs> Welcome to the Brotherhood. Game decides to explode. So apparently now, we have things that we can do. So we'll, I guess we'll, then we'll jump to... The diddly da. See what that upgrade diddly d. Train recruits to a... Oh, that was a challenge. <laughs> It was a challenge saying the thing that I did has been done. We're gonna quickly head to. Well, apparently there was a. Like, pigeon coop back there. But the island assassin icon was on top of it. I find that to be ever so slightly silly. So, yeah, we are going to quickly see what it's like to mess about with elite assassins. And if it's a whole bunch of nothing, we'll just keep them on to, like, do things in missions. Because at this point, if they can't, like, it depends. If there are, like, specialties, things that we can actually do with them. If it's just, like, extra money, then we'll just not send out our high-level assassins except to do things. So let's see. Yeah, this just seems that there's nothing to do with you. Now you're just in the Altair. Or not the Altair. You're... So basically now we'll just send out our dudes to level up the lower level dudes, essentially. So that they ca too can become assassins. So yeah. That's basically all I'll do now when it comes to my assassins. Uh, High-level assassins only go out with low-level assassins to level them up a bit faster. Which will come really in handy when it comes to the super baby assassins, who will be at level 1 when we finally burn down the remaining three Borgia Towers. But also... Uh, just in case anything weird happens, I am trying out a different configuration of my recording setup. Where normally I have the capture card outputting to a television set because, ah, eh, consoles, they play on televisions. The consoles, they belong on the television set, so. But, uh, I just decided, you know what, maybe to, like, uh, simplify things, I'll just run it through my to my monitor since it has two HDMI outputs. And so we'll just see how it goes, like visual wise, sound wise, bibbidi ba 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 ba. And uh, I guess to quickly round about to the ending of last stream, to the beginning of now, uh, I now severely fear the 100% synchronization bonus objectives because I don't want to do them anymore after what happened with the Leonardo DLC missions. Thank you, horse. But I also want to reap the rewards of extra missions. I could do without the uh, the cheat codes that you can do when replaying missions, 
but I kind of want to actually do all the, you know, the missions that pop up after you do them. It's kind of mean, but blah, 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 blah. It's you. Over here. Oh, is it Leonardo? Are we going to run into Leonardo before we ran into Leonardo? Well, let's go run into Leonardo. My fault, I guess, for it's doing the, the DLC. Psst, it's you. Over here. Solid snake? Why is there a cardboard box? It's did did cardboard exist it's in over here. Italy uh, it's in the 1500s? The fuck? It's a cardboard it's box. Leonardo. But at least I'm gonna get my double assassin blade back. It is good to see you, friend. Come here. Forgive me. The Borja have commandeered my services. Actually, they would have killed me had I refused. Understandable. What do they want? War machines. Well, understandable that you work with them now, but for all the not understandable guards, that they would kill you to refuse. Inside. They are very well designed, Ezio. Here, the names of the Templars overseeing their construction. Cesare intends to supply his army with my creations. You must dismantle them. Thank you, Ezio. Uh, Ezio. Ezio to Ezio. Thank you, Ezio. Thank you, Leonardo. There is far graver news, I am afraid. They have the apple. I know. I lost it to them. Yes, I know. I gave the apple to Mario. And then Mario died. I am sorry, Ezio. Cesare left it in my hands to study, to make it work. Then Rodrigo took it from me. I know not where. I will recover it in time. Leonardo, I have lost all the codex inventions you want fashion. I still have the gun. Mm. Remaking and the poison. Easy. I never forget the design. But you must compensate me for the raw material. Really? They are not paying you at Il Vaticano? Very, very little. If we are to do this, we must appear to not meet at all. <laughs> so we'll just leave messages here. A hand pointing. It's pointing to where you should sit. <laughs> so sit. Hilarious. Yes, maestro. So this will be another function of the game, it seems. So I can sit here to. I sit on the hand, not next to the hand. Very odd. I love that he like writes the hand. <laughs> stands inconspicuously and then <laughs> sits next to me. Are you sure you wish to buy this item? Yes! Benny, I will return shortly. Give me my double blade. I've been missing it. Sadness that it, uh, stole away some armor. But again, what's with the cardboard box? What's with the box? What's with the box? I can kill double the guards. Desmond, I've scanned Leo's location into the map, so you can keep tracking him when he moves. Oh. Synchronized with Ezio, you will have to destroy Leo's machines. I've marked the whereabouts of the Templars overseeing their construction. I'll update the map where the machine's locations are found. Again, th this is cardboard. Well, I was looking at that. <laughs> it's like, that's totally cardboard, right? That was totally cardboard. Like, maybe it could be... Like, uh, diddly dee, diddly dee, uh, like wood, but why would you make a wooden box like that? Uh, and now, uh, let me just make sure that's just like, oh yeah, it dates the barracks. Good, and uh, do I see a Leonardo anything? Or maybe I need to do the... I wish that there, ah, there's the legend. So there are War Machine missions now, or location. Let's see, is there anything? Leonardo. Templar Agents of the Abstergo logo. Really nice. Leonardo's Machines, L. All right. I don't anything but I could just be blind <gasps> but that means that we get to go to a new place now and a uh, Leonardo so we'll meet Leonardo do the viewpoint and just see what we're things we can actually do over there now huzzah miracle and again that was totally cardboard 
War Machines overseers located. The Inarda War Machines are now marked on the map. I'm going to assume that they would, uh, like, they're marked in the place that uh, we only just now got access to. I'm going to quickly use one of the fast travels because there is literally nothing for us to do in the areas left anymore. I don't believe so. Granted, maybe like running into dudes that are like, aha, we're going to shank you now. But I don't care about them. Also, I find it kind of funny that... I guess we'll start at the Coliseum so we can like look and see because depending on the area that we have access to we may muck around beyond the things well then again maybe we could go there get a leonardo upgrade do the mission then muck around mm. but now oh, i have double or maybe maybe uh wrong button wrong button brain uh, uh now i have double all right I'm going to assume that this area isn't open, but that this area... Well, then again, we'll probably have to burn down the Borgia Tower before we can buy that. Mm. But alrighty then. I flee you. I flee you. You cannot touch me. It is illegal to touch the assassin. And nope, this area is still locked. Hmm. Interesting. So I guess... Just, but Leonardo's thingy thing was marked over here. Where'd he go? Leonardo existed, but now he does not. So I'm gonna guess that this area like curves a bit, but maybe we can just go to the tower and then, because there's a mission over in these here waters. So something has to be able to be done. It just makes sense. I guess I should call a horse. To me, horse, that I probably stole from somebody and is now loyal to me forever. Again, I do not know why the game doesn't let you have full control of the horse. Like, uh, like you could in that one Romulus lair. In the Romulus lair, you had, like, full access to the horse's capabilities. But now, the game is just like... No, open world. <laughs> you want to go fast in the open world? No. None for you. Which just feels odd. Wait. Oh, this is where we once were that I couldn't get up there. I was looking for you and wondering why I couldn't get up there, which also means that I still cannot get to you because I don't fucking know. Like, there's a ladder. So I guess I have to fix this somehow, but it's falling into the- I don't know. There's a ladder that goes up and it's meant to be a thing, I guess, but I don't- I don't understand this. So I- I'm going to assume the game... Like, why could I even get up here if... I can't... I- I don't like this. Also, the water is all like, uh... It, I- just looking at it looks odd. But yeah. Uh, the game is being very odd here. I would like to viewpoint, but I cannot viewpoint, so I guess I must go die. Yeah, because I don't think that there's any way to get up there just yet. Maybe it will become available. Maybe I can fix it by buying a the aqueduct or something. I don't know. Uh, well, let's do a mission. Kill the Templar Overseer to recover a map showing the location of one of Leonardo's war machines. Send the mercenaries into a fight. Okay, so I need to buy some mercenaries. Bang. To me, mercenari. Kill them! Goodbye. You hit me, I'm your employer. Our 
blade fight phase. Interesting. Is there anything special on this guy? He wears good armor. Give good money. Eh, decent money. Hmm. I wonder, can I go over to this Borgia Tower and do it? But at the same time, the thing is right here, so I'm going to assume the game will let me, uh, access the, 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 the synchronization point at some point soon. Okay. I would really like it. Yeah, because I don't understand why it won't let me. They're just like, we're going to put this in an annoying place. And boy, howdy, and yes, it is an annoying place. Ah, no, we travel to a place for war. I guess it is a war machine. Can't really keep war machines in Rome if you plan on actually, like, using them in war. I just realized I have yet... I didn't buy the, uh, the armor now that I have the double thing. It's almost like having the armor be uh, not buyable because I don't have the item, even though the, the, the armor itself has become available. It's kind of stupid. Like, sure, make it so it's not equipped just yet, but make it auto-equip when I can... Like, let me buy it, and then have it auto-equip after I get it. Leonardo's designs have resulted in a machine capable of cutting down a hundred men in mere seconds. It cannot be left in the hands of the Borgia. Do not kill anybody before destroying the blueprints. Watch the weapon carefully. You must be ready to take it to safety should anything happen. That'll be ever so slightly difficult. I'm gonna have to wait for him to... Hmm. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could probably just... I can't be discovered. Oh, that's a very bad... That's a bad idea. Love the music that's playing. The music is very nice. Gonna let that guy, that, who's also a seeker, be stuck up there for a little bit. Just so I can, like, uh, try to get in there without that one guy seeing me. Oh, I need to destroy the blueprints. So I need to find the machine. Like, that's what the synchronization is. Get to the machine. Yeah, oh, do not kill anybody before destroying the blueprints. Don't worry, you don't see me. No, you don't. Hopefully he can't climb. Then again. Okay, good. If only. <laughs> I was gonna say, if only we could like. <laughs> oh, I, I forgot that's how he did it. But now I can kill. If I chose to. Now I can get in there, get into the machine, and then start killing. Presumably. Or I can just destroy it here. Oh, because those powder kegs are very big, apparently. Detection now permitted, it says. Oh, they had a second one. Ow. Not exactly sure. Impeccable driving skills on their part.
Kind of, I guess it makes sense that Leonardo would be the man to make the first machine gun after he made the first, like, handgun. I'm not sure exactly how the game wants me to dodge bullets while on a horse that is hard to control. Just ever so slightly. Also don't even know what invisible geometry sent that after me. Be gone. <gasps> that is wholly unnecessary. You already stabbed him in the throat. No need to freaking shoot him in the head as well. Uh, you probably could have uh, just uh, not <laughs> jumped it to your doom. Man, this is Borgia country. There's just so many Borgia men up on rooftops. Waity. <laughs> that guy rear-ended me and killed himself. And of course, the game is like, well, we can't just let... Let you not use the gun. There was a double kill! <laughs> Fear me! I think the auto aim helped there. Oh crap. I wonder how often, like, muskets on horseback was used. Impressive that the horses are surviving. Uh, all right. Sniper capabilities on those guys, which I find to be a little rude. Ah, uh, but this is satisfying. Although, uh, the game kind of expects... That was a ragdoll. <laughs> Double kill once again. Now this is very... This is a fun set piece. And, and the synchronization bonus objective wasn't terrible. <gasps> okay, to just sending in the entire army after me. The horses are uh, have a good autopilot so far. Thank God that the uh, synchronization bonus wasn't tied to those barrels. How many men are they dedicating to getting one more machine back? Okay, that horse was just determined. How many horses do you guys even have? That's what I'm saying. Ezio was the first Call of Duty, like, MLG player. Go home! Go home. Let the horses free and use your own gun to shoot the powder. <laughs> the world is better without you. Oh, the march of the technology definitely does hurt. <laughs> Bang. That was, a, that was a fun mission. That was a very fun mission. It was a nice set piece. To which I must say it was very nice. Very nice indeed. And again, I find it hilarious that I did the... <coughs> Excuse me. 
Excuse me again! I find it funny that I did the... Bobbity bah like, uh... Leonardo DLC to save this system from Caesar's army and give Leonardo time to design. <laughs> That's hilarious. Let's see if I can go there. I probably won't be able to. Yep. The game says no. I can't go there yet. But I can. And I can't get you yet either, I assume. Unless there is just a very funky way of, like, doing you. But I already spent a decent amount of time, like, messing around there, so... We'll just go to Leonardo. See if we can... Give me your horse! Your horse is mine. I don't think that would smell appetizing. Kill him! They even come in on horses! <laughs> I have a whole army! They have a whole army after me. I'll just let my assassins take care of you with their infinite guns. Come on, that totally could have killed him. Stab to the eyes. Who needs to break their charge when I can just shoot them? Very neat that, like, fellow assassins come in on horseback and then proceed to attack any guard in the vicinity in a blood rage. That makes sense. Have you read the Bible? He doesn't exactly let that many people live. God, let me live. Not really up there. A lot of it is, eh, you'll die. But then you'll be in heaven. So isn't that wonderful? I can hear their guns like they're right next to me. Specifically the reloading. I think that's a glitch. This is definitely a glitch. Mission, save me from my, uh, associates who refuse to stop shooting. Use a smoke bomb to stun the overseer. Oh, that's not gonna help me. Here, overseer, overseer. Smoke bomb! And then they disappear. <laughs> oh, sure, there they can disappear, but not my loud as hell allies. Bang. 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 I wonder how many of these machines I have to do before I can, like, uh... get another upgrade from him. Well, at least doing this mission will free me. I think the world is gone insane. Oh, maybe that'll actually despawn them. That'll be nice. Let's see...
And you can go send them to level up more. Until we can make them full-fledged assassins. Yay, that despawned the constant gun. The constant sound of gun in my ear. What war machine shall be today? If only I knew that this would... That's the one thing I kind of dislike about the mission structure of this game is you never know when a main mission will be, oh, talk to this guy. Or, oh, you're actually going to go do a full-on long, long mission. The game doesn't let you know. Because if I ended last stream with talking to Leonardo, not only would that have been a hilarious bookend, but that also would have allowed me to title this stream better. More Leonardo. Do not get shot while using the bomber. Ah, oh, great. You, Leonardo has redesigned his flying machine with a light cannon, creating a deadly aerial weapon. Ensure the Borgia never get to use it. Well, surely I won't be instant detected by guards. Why was an asshole carrying shit right right in front of me? Asshole. That's just a very jerk thing to do. We're gonna spawn a guy carrying shit right in front of you. Why? Why do you exist? Uh, oh. So there's tons of architects, so I need to kill that guy. Why is it that, like, you lost sight of him? I was just seeing him. Why are you looking at me when you can't look at me? Jerk. Don't you just hate it when people look at you when they can't look at you? Yes, yes. Oh, he's out of sight. I need to follow him to a secluded area, presumably where nobody is, but maybe I could get away with, like, uh, just civilians. Why? Oh, there we go. Oh, beat up the architect. I was gonna kill him. You are not a friend. No, I will not. Stop! Stop! Hilarious. Where are the plans? Pass the guards. In my house. It is the last one. I will not give them to you. Headbutt. I will give them to you. On top of the fortress. Just be thankful that he's not Ezio. Ezio would have killed you. Without mercy. I'm not at you. Alt Altair. Altair would have killed you without mercy. What if I can make it? Can. Crossbow. Funnily enough, this is actually a good case study for why maybe Altair was correct. Because he ran away and we instantly became notorious. And the bonus is do not get shot while using the bomber. Which will probably be a bit difficult. Don't mind me. Crossbow. Why was... I wasn't even aiming at him. What the hell? There was nobody in front of him. And I shot and it's like, oh, you killed a civilian. Game? Why? Why do smart bullets exist in, fi in the 15th century or whatever? Purely to hone in on civilians when I don't want to hone in on civilians. And it even stole my crossbow bolt. What an asshole.
fair. But I don't. Oh, I think I was supposed to use like civilians to get through. My bad. Fucking following me. We'll try to sneak in without making too much commotion, you know, after the big two guys. The two big guys. Of which everybody was like running away and none of the other guards went, hmm, maybe that's suspicious. That a bunch of civilians are going, oh god, somebody is a murderer. Maybe we should look into that. Nah. Let's not look into the screaming masses. Still kind of annoying that there was no civilian in front of my crossbow shot that I could see. And then there was magically one that the game decided to shoot. Oh, there's two there. That would be bad. Th that's not what I wanted, game. Why? Oh, I am at ledge. Totally want to pick up body. Dumb. now, please. And by the time you get back up there, I'll have looted this chest. Oh, I thought it would have, like, an item in it. Eh, at the same time, I doubt, like, having items in would be a good idea for me. I need to get up this building somehow. Probably with the ladder over there. Two guards. Not good. And there's more guards coming that way too, but I can get around this corner before they see me. Ah, great. Uh. Come on, he was dead before. Why is it they don't have good pathing there? They're supposed to go in a specific pattern, not back and forth. That's just silly. Also kind of funny that the guards are like, but better plan then. Go around the side instead of, you know, going down there. Oh, but funnily enough, it let me keep the chest. Which, despite the fact that the chest wasn't really worth it at all. Ah, uh, come on, he didn't recognize me that quickly. How could a big guy, who's totally the fastest at seeing, not see me? But he could. Total blasphemy. Also not nice that they're just like, ah. No, you don't get to use your double blades. What the f- Come on, game! Double assassination, let me do it. Why? Why game saying, no, you can't do that? That's dumb. I was locked into the animation. Why did it break? What even is point if you not game good? Assholes. Ah, oh, but now it works. Dumb. That's just dumb. I don't get why. Just out of nowhere, the game decided, no, that's not gonna work. Animation's gonna break. What's the point of a double assassination animation if you're just gonna go, sorry, the animation of assassination's not gonna be playing today? Game. What's with the dumb? Quit being dumb, game. 
What's with the being dumb? No. None for you. He's gonna be looking at me while I'm looting, isn't he? Just slowly knock off anybody that can see me one by one. Because I was going to get very angry. The game, like, forced me. But now I think that I should be able to get to this building. Get to the other building. And hopefully not have anything to really worry about. Unless those guys are, like, going to turn around and be like, Oh, him! Which I think would be just mean. To design a layout like that. But at the same time, that's kind of what the mission that bugged out and had me in a cutscene randomly kind of did. But at the same time, kind of not. Ah, but at the same time, maybe this guy will act as a good dad. Oh, no, never mind. You are mine! And now for the hard part. Presumably. Okay, this is a... I'd not... This doesn't seem like a uh, standard issue tower. Why is it like uh, just four walls and then no way up? Why would you even build a tower like that? It is my dream to make the tower that you can't fucking use. And now will come the hard part, I presume. The uh, don't get shot while flying the thing, while also the game doesn't have a good uh, system to restart checkpoints with, which kind of begs the question of why even have checkpoints at that point, if you're not going to let the player use the checkpoints. And so far, the climbing hasn't been terrible. Everyone who piloted one died. Several even exploded, but we know this one works. Bye bye. I guess that makes sense to like bring the thing up, but how did they get up? Well, they intend to craft more weapons, but they don't have the blueprints. So, Leonardo, you will help me stop them. But they don't have the blueprints. Um, how do I fire? Ah, that's what it said. It says at the bottom. Detection is now permitted. No, don't shoot me, please. They modified how flying works. I can feel it. No. Why? Why did they change the fucking way that it diddly do? Well, let's see. Does it just start the whole thing over? It goes back because I keep forgetting what's what. Bleg. Why do they change the control scheme? Yay, my favorite bullshit. I hate this kind of fucking bullshit. Oh, you can just not do them. Shut the fuck up. It's stupid. Shut the fuck up. This is stupid. I hate it. Like, legitimately fucking hate. It's just... Why? Why, 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 why is this designed like this asshole? Fuck off. I'm not in the goddamn mood. It's just so stupid. Why can't I make use of the checkpoint system that exists within the game? Yeah, I can't make use of the checkpoint system, you know, that's in the game. And they're gonna have stupid things that 
like invalidate runs on memories and then go higgly 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 it's just very fucking stupid and then they have just the nerve of like not letting you be able to do anything How far away do I have to be before you can fuck off? So basically, if they shoot you, the best possible decision is to just ram into the ground, I guess. Because, you know, I just figured, hey, maybe there's something that's good in the world. Why do they also put a fucking asshole here? They'll just get in the way. But yeah, the 100% bonus bullshit things, like, are just... They're stupid. Why can I not skip this cutscene? What's the point of a skip cutscene system if it's not fucking in the game, assholes? And again, it's like... I don't have the option of not doing them because actual tangible content is locked behind them. And they're not insidiously stupid all the time. So it's just this fucking stupid bullshit that you have to deal with, and I hate it. Why? Why can't they just make thing good? The 100% synchronization bonus objectives are just some of the dumbest things in the world. Like, either have them and have them basically be nothing, or, like, because, like, Having content locked behind them that isn't just cheat codes is dumb. Actual tangible content is locked behind them and I hate it. Why the fuck? Asshole. Why does he keep getting in the way? Why do they have these assholes on missions? Just why? And again, why do they have a checkpoint system if they're not actually allowing you to make use of the checkpoint system? Seriously, where is the restart from checkpoint option? That should just exist in all games ever. If you have checkpoints, and you don't let people actively make use of checkpoints, fuck off, you're bad at designing games. I don't give a shit. If you have checkpoints, and it says there are checkpoints, and you have no way of letting the player actively make use of the checkpoints, when situations would call for making use of the checkpoints, then you can just fuck off. We're gonna have a bonus objective that's win or lose. And then not let you make use of the checkpoint system, of which it's just like, why? What's the fucking point of that? This is also fucking bullshit. I just want to get to the point so I can restart. But no, you have to- that's another thing. You have to cheese the fucking system, which is stupid. And also- Here's another thing. Why the fuck is there a checkpoint on top of this tower with a guard, but when you restart the fucking thing, it's like, oh yeah, by the way. That should have been a double. Fuck off, game. Oh, but he was slightly away. Fuck off, game. Does it look like I give a shit? You obviously don't care about actual balance. Because your 100% synchronization is stupid. So fuck off. Oh, wow, it worked that time. It's a miracle. Because, again, it's just fucking stupid. Why the fuck? <laughs> Why did he move deeper in than he did before? I guess he has multiple different paths of which to take, but it's just weird. Every single time I saw him, he was always standing here. It seems odd. But yeah, now I'm going to be hypercritical about everything because... The 100% synchronization bullshit. Hi, Bob. That was close. At least that was nice. Uh, 
just uh, not being mean going on there. Okay, good. He didn't see that. Thank you for not seeing the dead body. You know, in situations of which I need to make dead bodies. Still doesn't make the stupid 100% synchronization bonus objective any less not stupid. It's just immensely annoying when games have just like... Again, you can have the 100% synchronization bonuses be a little mean if the player can actually, like, interact with the systems. But you can't really make use of the checkpoint system, which is just stupid. And again, they changed how the flying machine works. Why? You don't, like, you don't really change anything else from Assassin's Creed 2. Why the hell would you retool a system that is only going to be in, like, one mission, presumably? And maybe challenges in the little, like, animus challenge system that, uh... What's her name? My brain is forgetting. Rebecca created. Why would you retool an entire system that you don't need to, thus putting more man hours into it? Like, all you had to do... Like, I guess maybe they wanted to retool it because they're like, Oh, we're going to be adding, uh, like, a reticule, a reticule to fire things with, so we should retool it entirely to make sure that it functions properly or something. But it just doesn't feel nice anymore. Like, I guess because previously they were more, like, linear. But at the same time, that's map design. So you could have kept the way the thing worked. And just not you will help me stop them. make the thing crazily designed. Alright. Already they're angry at me, far faster than before. Tower. Extend my range. Because, yeah, that's another thing. Because I was expecting it to function like Assassin's Creed 2's flying machine. Not like this. It just feels funky. It feels funky and weird. Like, the diving feels different, it's just like, it feels off, and again, tied to... Oh, that's not good. I think I'm gonna crash and I don't want to, because they changed how it freaking works! That's just mean! Why?! And again, because you have to play super defensively because they're assholes and like, oh, we're gonna throw a thing at you and if you're not perfect with new thing, you fail bonus objective. Which is stupid. And it's like, I'm not going to accept anything. I am eternally angry. Especially, again, that everything feels off. Have to quick shot them. I think there was like a tool tip that was like, oh hey, if you are falling, you can shoot the ground to, like, regain or something. But, uh, that is something that you tell players, like, super quickly. 
And again, it's just like, why? The, the flying before was fine, but I guess they're like, oh, but then people cheese the flying or whatever. Oh, that's, yeah. Why in the world do you design thing? Not into the wall, please. And now I need to chase them down, I guess. We can't let the Borgia have hand gl hang gliders. go. More carts! Oh, I guess they're all, yeah, coming from the destroyed workshops, I guess, but that, that feels a little off, where it's like surprise a uh, fourth one. Trick shot? Nope, didn't work. Fly around. The game will potentially be mean. Destroy. Yeah, like I don't. I just don't understand why I like hover in the air for so long. I kind of miss the original way it was designed. Cesare must know of this. Oh, that's so mean. Just please, give me the original controls back. They just feel off. Just feel so off. Especially because they keep throwing more and more. I would have been very annoyed to have lost to that last one. I'm gonna go very fast. And it's like that again would have been a very cool mission, but then they ruined it with the 100% synchronization bonus, which again wouldn't be that bad a thing if it weren't for the fact that actual content is locked behind the 100% synchronization bonuses. Because there comes a point, it's like there, it's a sliding scale, the synchronization bonuses, where. Like, either you can make them hyper-specific and annoying that might require multiple tries to get. It's, it's just a, it's a cavalcade of fuck-ups. On their designing part. Uh, the camera decided that it wanted to stay behind. But, the fact that you can't control the... bibbidi ba you can't really control the... Frickin'... Checkpoints or have any kind of save control is dumb. Because, like, if you're going to have checkpoints, there should be a restart from checkpoint button, not restart entire memory button. It's just kind of stupid. It's just kind of stupid when the entire thing just feels, like, intentionally bad. Oh, these guys are ready to become assassins. Which, luckily, we can easily do, because the next Leonardo mission is right next to the island, so... Okay, we'll do the Leonardo mission, then we'll go do main mission, and then... Because that will leave, like, one Leonardo mission left. But, yeah, it's just very annoying when 
Like, they added in the system and then refused to put any kind of system in that would, like, make the system good. What's that? You want to have 100% synchronization bonuses? Sure, but... Like, extra thought needed to be put into them. Like, either they're, like, kind of mundane and something that you can easily, easily, easily do in one go, of which a lot of them aren't, especially the time trial ones. Or... You make them hyper-specific, but make it super easy to, like, restart the checkpoint. Or you don't tie anything to the bonuses that much. Like, the cheat codes for replaying missions, that's fine. Actual mission content locked behind them? Why? And there's no telling of which is which. You can't tell when a synchronization bonus might be working towards a cheat code, or if the synchronization bonus is working towards like one of the repressed memory bonuses, and it just feels very meh. Because it's something that you don't want to do, but because actual content is locked behind it, you feel compelled to do. All the while, it's designed in ways that are stupid. It's just very poor design, in, if, in my opinion. In my opinion, it is just very poor design to put super completion things to the missions and then just, like, going to all the extremes to make it not fun. Use a kick attack against the Overseer. See, that's hyper-specific, but easy. When it's hyper-specific and annoying, it's like, the, the fact is it's hyper-specific, but it's something that you can just do. It's not something hyper-specific, but, oh, if you fail, you fail. Fight me, so I can kick you. What? Why didn't it? Oh no! Is the uh, no? I'm not gonna die. It's happening again. The no, I'm not gonna die to your counter. It's here again. Just for a little bit, it seemed. But the fact that it's back at all was mean. Why would you even have these overseer guys? They just seem to be a complication to your plans. But yeah, it's just like, the synchronization bonuses are forever going to haunt the rest of this playthrough. Because either they're going to be inconsequential and I can just do them, or they're going to be, like, the most annoying ones are the time trials that basically you have to put off and do again later, which is annoying. Because, I just, I don't like time trials. And then when they, like, get in the way of, like, the actual fun, it's just like, why? Why do you hamper the fun? Again, if it was just cheat codes, I would skip them. But it's actual content. And they're like, oh, do this. And you don't know if one is content or one is not. You're just doomed. You're screwed forever. Game's just mean, and I hate it. Open one of the first three gates. Yay! My One of my favorite things, vague verbiage. Does that mean at least open one of the first three gates? Or does it mean only open one of the first three gates? Because this fucking shit is so bullshit that I'm, like, my anxiety is spiking over getting it wrong and I hate it. The Borgia have constructed a deadly naval war machine based on Leonardo's designs. It must be destroyed before Cesare gains control of the seas. Yeah, it's like, I don't like the design of this. Yes, Capitano. 
He travels by boat to see the mechanism now. Yeah, it's just like... I'm very annoyed by these design decisions. Like, I would have no problem with them all that much if, like, they weren't annoying. If I could skip them, I uh, that would be nice. If they were easy to do and not intrusive, that would be nice. But I'm not here to... Am I here to assassinate him? It said talk to. Uh, yeah, there we go. Give me their plans. You are the assassin, am I right? You must stop chasing I will help you. Let me take you to them. He's gonna die. Grazie. <laughs> Interacting with the gondola will cause desynchronization. And, and again, this would all... Well, I guess I actually now I know the reason why they don't have... Uh, let you have control of the checkpoints. Because that would fuck with the... The, the frickin' diddly dee. That would get in the way of the... Oh, I have to be the one to open the gates. Or at least one of the gates. I'm gonna hate this fucking mission, aren't I? Oh, I'm gonna hate this mission, aren't I? Can I swim under? Can I please swim under? Oh, I'm gonna fucking hate this. Well, at least if it gets far away, maybe it'll desynchronize. Yeah, I'm just gonna let it desynchronize. Fuck this. That's bullshit. Hey, here's this thing. By the way, we're gonna make it annoying. Fuck off. I'm just- I'm not a fan of the synchronization bonuses. Because they just get in the way of the normal game. And wow, would you look at that, the, uh, synchronization bonus is... Oh, fuck you. Why, you dumbass game. Oh, yeah, and everybody would just totally want to fly into the fucking corner and not actually the goddamn railway. Why the fuck are you designed that way, you stupid little fucking shit? Oh, that's another bullshit. I have to get over there before he gets here so I can open the gate for him because that is such a stupidly optional synchronization bonus bullshit. Nobody was there to see me, assholes. Nobody was there. Nobody would have seen me. The game's just like, hey, we're gonna have a, an obnoxiously stupid thing that only exists to be obnoxiously stupid. Please clap. Fuck off. This design is so dog shit. Why? Nobody wants this. It's not even a challenge. It's just stupid get in your way bullshit. I hate it so much. Reduce this to the target. Fuck off. You, you're making. Why? <laughs> You're making stupid bullshit. No, you can't actually prepare yourself to do the optional thing. Why? He's in a goddamn tunnel. He is coming. He is within eyesight. Why? That's so fucking stupid. This bonus objective is dog shit. 
Why? I understand if he gets far enough ahead, they're like, oh, we, the the leash on this ally has to be tight enough so that players who want to rush ahead to, like, or no, is like, the leash has to be tight enough so that if he gets too far away, you don't go, ah, I couldn't do the bonus objective, what the fuck? But why is it so goddamn tight that you're making it essentially a... Why? He's in... That's so fucking stupid. He is in eyesight. Why is it? This is like the worst of the escort missions ever. Because they force you to run ahead. And again, you can't even say, oh, you just can just not do the bonus objective because it's fucking there. It's a fucking thing that gives extra content. So no, you can't just say, oh, you don't have to do it. Fuck off. Why can the guards even look up? Because seriously, why is getting to this bend just a curse upon the families of all? Oh, fuck off, you stupid game. Because you have to fucking wait for him, while at the same time being just fast enough. It's just like, it's so stupid. You have to be like, ah, wait, but ah, not wait, but ah, wait. It's so stupid. Go too fast, he catches up. And you lose out on the bonus objective. Oh, but you get three chances! Fuck off. Why? I don't even know who fucking saw me. Maybe this guy, but he's not even looking this way. It's so stupid. I don't like this bonus objective. It just feels dumb. And contrived. Because it is. It's a bonus objective that makes an escort-ish mission worse. How do you even do that? How do you take the base concept of an escort mission, something that everybody in the gaming world hates because it's usually done poorly, and you're just like, oh, by the way, we're gonna make it even worse. Luckily, it's just like, oh, only one. Open one of the first three gates. But the fact that it's, like, open this, like, thing that's going to be opened anyway. And by the way, we're just going to make it super annoying to do. It's just, it's so dumb. It's just annoying to deal with. Because, again, it is the worst of all worlds escort mission. Because he's just slow enough that fall... Like, again, they had to design it where you can catch up to him if you don't open the gates. But they also had to make it so that he's fast enough that you can, like, open the gates yourself. Die. Is his body going to open the gate? What's it going on? Did I find another reason to loathe the stupid system? I think I do! My favorite! Wow, it's almost like you shouldn't make dog shit brain damaged objectives into your stupid fucking game. And wow, would you look at that because they're like, oh, we can't actually let them. Wow, it's almost like you need to have a restart from checkpoint system in your goddamn game, you assholes. It's almost like. You need to have the ability to let the player 
access the goddamn checkpoints! Fine, I'm just gonna kill the kill the application, and then maybe it'll go, oh sorry, here, continue, but it won't do that. Because this fucking system was made by idiots. What? Can they not make safety precautions? It's like, it's so fucking stupid. Why? Why the fuck do you make a system like this? Why the fuck do you make checkpoints that are only accessible by failing the mission or dying when shit like that can happen? And again, double again, it's almost like when there is a cutscene, the player should be able to skip it. Especially when the game has fucking cutscenes that you can skip. It's just so nonsensical. I got locked into a goddamn cutscene And I don't even know where we are in the things. Oh, wait, nope, never mind. We are uh, past it, so I should have fulfilled my part of the goddamn thing, but I could see the game wigging out and going, No! You turned off game so bad! Uh, fucking stupid. This is genuinely just some of the most dumbest shit I have ever seen. Purely by a game's own creation. This is all manufactured bullshit. They took out the ability to let you, like, access checkpoints. Because it's a common sense thing. Hey, we have checkpoints, let's let the player access that shit. And they took it out purely to make the... Their stupid little system even harder. I'm calling it now, that is the sole reason. Or maybe the checkpoints fucked with their system. So they felt they had to take it out. The uh, fuck off? But yeah, I'm just eternally raging at all. Like, the base game is good. The things about the base game are good. It is all the secondary bullshit that is just like made for stupid reasons that literally make the base game worse. It got locked into a cutscene because they don't let you access the goddamn checkpoint system. Purely to defend the difficulty or functionality of their systems, which is stupid. It's just very stupid. And I hate it. Let's see if we can actually swim under it like the game said I could. I can. But I can't swim through rope sadness. Yeah, it's just... it's so stupid. This entire system is just made eternally worse for no reason. The base game is fun. But everything that they do makes, like, the issues that it already has more visible. The time trials, or hey, don't take any damage, but we're gonna make it, like, very annoying to deal with. Mean. Be like, some of the challenges are fine, but then a lot of the others have baked-in bullshit, and I hate it. And 
then I have to open it for myself, I guess. Oh, no, I, this is a different door. I was wondering why this existed and I didn't go through it. Am I gonna have to get, nope. Uh, I was wondering if I was getting to a chase. But it's just like, the design decisions they made with this. Dear God, they infuriate me. It's just they infuriate me so much. And I don't think people can really refute my umbrage with the system when my ability to play the game was broken by the fact that it encouraged a certain play style and thus soft-locked the game. I don't think you can defend a system that is so flawed it can break the system itself. We can't let players access the checkpoint system because either it breaks something or maybe they wanted to preserve the purity of their 100% synchronization challenges. Or maybe the pure fact that they have five billion and a half goddamn speed challenges that they didn't want to even bother implementing it because players would be like, why can't I access the checkpoint system in this mission when I can in that mission? Or like any number of things. And again, some cutscenes can be skipped, some can't. Then you should stay tonight as well. They'll come searching, and then they'll get bored, and they'll go away. Or he'll come in here. Because <laughs> he was the one that saw me, and then came here. Because I think it did say that uh, detection was now permitted. Good. What if I don't want to die? Getting it. Oh, my bad. Come on, I was countering that. Give me a knife. Give me my hands, because now that guy will try to attack me, probably. Come on. Fine, I'll go back to the Triton Troop. I'll just kick him instead. Or get a combo going. It's just like, I would love to stop ranting about the synchronization 100% system. But then it just keeps giving me reasons to go back to that well. By just making it eternally a bad decision day in and day out. Randomly, cutscenes can't be, because I guess they're like, oh, that's not a real cutscene. It's like, bibbidi bah, it's not a real cutscene. So therefore, it's not a real cutscene, you can't skip it, I hate it. If it is something that locks control away from the player, purely to show something, it is a cutscene. It is a scene that is cutting away from the base gameplay to show a scene. Ergo, cutscene. If a cutscene happens and your game has the ability to skip cutscenes, let the player skip the cutscene. Because stuff like that can happen. Of which, I don't even know why the game requires a guard to be alive, it should just automatically time his, like, animations to go, oh, I'm gonna do it, and then open it, and after a certain point, if the cutscene has been enabled, it should just 
activate anyway. It just feels immensely dumb again and again and again. Let's see if you can fight your master's hand, shall we? At least now we get to the fun part of the mission that won't be hampered by any of the bullshit. Burn the sails, and only the sails. Why not the boat itself? Oh, uh, my bad. For some reason, brain was like, ah, square button is shoot, when most definitely not. But this is your own sheep! Your own machine! You wouldn't want to burn your own machine, would you? That reminds me of Black and White from Lion's Head Studios. Are we gonna destroy more ships or is that it? Because I saw more glowing sails. Right, that's a weird place to... But we can swoop on over. See, now that the stupid bonus objective shit isn't infecting the fun part of the mission, it's super much better, yes. Which one's missing? The super duper past one. Alright. <laughs> we are boat drifting. I do find it hilarious that the hor horrifying machine that we are trying to stop is a war gondola. I find that amusing, and game, I am trying to row the other way. Kind of mean of you to take control away from me, so I could not go the proper way. And fire! Goodbye, fools. Then again, <laughs> this does go to show that a war gondola apparently is really powerful. And apparently this was an unfinished war gondola. But yeah, I'm just immensely annoyed. When... The synchronization bonus missions get in the way of the fun. It's just annoying. From the vague wording on some of them... ...to the fact that, again, their inherent design seems to have sabotaged the checkpoint system from being allowed. Granted, I don't remember the checkpoint system ever being accessible to the player unless they die or fail a mission, but... Again, points like that where the cutscene decided to just die... ...is just like, kind of speaks to the question of why can I just not access the fucking thing that I want to access. I still don't know what it's like. Oh, inventory outfits, but there is nothing new. As far as I'm aware.
Because, like, I like the idea of 100% synchronization bonuses, but their execution here is just very, very poorly done. To the point that they actively sabotage the core base game, which is just a sin. Just an absolute sin of design. That it gets in the way of actual fun. Why? Why must you sabotage the good with all of your terrible? Because it just feels like they, like, don't have a balance to them. Again, either they should just be for cheat codes so I can ignore them, or they should be easier to accomplish, or, you know, I should just have access to the goddamn checkpoint system so I can be like, oh, a thing happened, can I go back to checkpoint? It just feels very dumb. That it's done this way. Uh, let's continue and actually do mission. See if this activates mission or if this activates the ceremony. Which will happen first? Where have you been? We all have our secrets. I took the liberty of setting up a means of communication with your recruits. We sent orders. I already was doing that. <laughs> Thank you, Machiavelli. Bartolomeo sends his apologies. The French have doubled their assault. Claudia. Ezio. All right. I have a plan to deal with the Borgia. Bombs. We can either go after supplies or Cesare's followers. My plan is to attack both. If we cut off his funds, Cesare will lose his army and return without his men. So, I ask you, where does he get his money? Volpe? Agostino Chigi is the Pope's moneylender, but Cesare does business with someone else. As of now, all we know is that he is called the Banker. <laughs> the Banker. I know someone who owes the Banker money. Senator Egidio Troche comes in all the time and complains. Bene. That's hilarious. We'll follow up on that lead. French soldiers are guarding the road back into the castello. Once Cesare arrives, you will never get to him. I intend to kill the French general. With him dead, Bartolomeo will have the Frenchmen on the defensive, and they will abandon their posts on the bridge. Even with those troops gone, the Papal Guard will continue to protect the inner gate. Which just means less there things to worry about. There is a side entrance. Lucrezia's latest plaything, Pietro, has a key. He was at the castello. Come see me later. I will have my thieves ascertain his location. So once again, three missions. Oh, upgrade... Oh, yeah, I already know that. So yeah, guess we have to leave and then come back in. Where are you going? I am of no use to anyone without Forley. I leave to be with my children and await the restoration of my lands. Fair enough. I wish you would stay. You are the leader of the assassins now. Unite them, Ezio Aditore, and take back Roma. Vittoria gli assassini! Vittoria gli assassini. I still like the construction-deconstruction of the memory buildings. Sisterhood cheat unlocked. Wonder what that is. I don't know, because I don't really replay the missions. Even though there are two that I really need to do to, to do the 100% diddly D. The two Romulus layers that, were, that are literally the same exact goddamn bonus mission. Objective. And we have more items at the blacksmith, including a new mission. Complete the shop quest. What if I want to murder instead? Take their soul. 
Less damage. I'll go ahead and... Oh, I can auto-do that. Good. Exotica, I need shrunken heads. And again, this is why I don't fucking sell items. I can unlock stuff at the, the doctor now. New contract assignments. So more just a million things. Oh. That's not as diddly -dee. I... Why do I need tomatoes? Why do I need tomatoes? I'll be here, should you need Tomatoes! Frickin' tomatoes? For poison? TOMATOES! I am insulted by this item system. The item system feels like it was thrown in there purely to just be a, a, an, an even greater annoyance. I still don't know where the Papa Ver Silvaticum is. Well, I guess maybe doing a certain, like, doing certain assassin contract missions with the recruits might do things properly. And like, ooh, you get item as well, I think, but I think I already did all of those. Why can't I do that? <laughs> this is Let's literally a cutscene. Why can't I skip it? Mumkin. It is literally just the same thing. Is revealed through these words. Imagine if you we upgraded dark, all of your assassins in a staggered formation. We are assassins. So it's like you Nothing had to do this for true. each and every one, and they can still die. I'm Everything fairly certain. Is permitted. They can still die. Let's see. Because now all of my assassins should be... But yeah, I don't think any of these are good to me except for money. Of which I shall do... I'll just look for... Ah! This is a thing that looks important. And it can be done by a single assassin. Sure. At least that makes, like, lore sense, because if they are even slightly to the level of Ezio, they should be able to actually do, like, big missions on their own. Like, sure, they might not be able to do, like, all missions to Ezio level, but at least a decent number of them. Might as well just get all big ones out of the way. Yeah, screw it. I don't use them all that much. Just get them all out of the way. They can all come back at the same time and give me items. Be like, what happens if you sell items that you need? Where, like, early on, you're just like, heedily he, items, I can sell them. In my opinion, you shouldn't be able to sell items before you, uh... ...are able to... ...start, like, upgrading things, in just personal opinion. And just because, we'll go do that one, quickly see if we can access... ...like, anything. Like, it would be nice to be able to access some of this shit. It's haunting me. But yeah, and again, just immensely annoyed. I will bribe you. You are about to step in serious murder. 
But yeah, it's just... I don't understand why the 100% synchronization bonus objectives are, like, seemingly so poorly implemented, at least for me. And then again... <laughs> Considering that I explicitly ran into an issue that caused the game to softlock due to the system, I think that validates my anger ever so slightly. Couldn't skip a cutscene that a, a, a cutscene broke. Couldn't restart from a checkpoint because they don't let you do that. Literally the only way to, like... Utilize the... Fine, I'll buy you just to get you out of the way. But yeah, at this point, it just seems like... The only way to make use of the checkpoint system is to just crash the game. Because if you restart the memory, you have to do it all over again. Which is dumb. There needs- there should always be a normal, hey, I would like to restart the mission. Or, like, restart the checkpoint. And the game is just like, why? Why is that not just a front and center option? I would like to click button and begin at checkpoint again, please, for various reasons. Not go through a billion menus of starting up the game again. That is just immensely dumb. <laughs> Blair. Like, I have half a mind to, like, look into, like, uh, how many slash which ones in fact, you know what? I'm gonna do it right now. I am going to look up Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Brotherhood... Synchronization bonus. Just so I can be like, hey, how do I do it? as you increase your overall synchronization. But there is a, one last repressed memory unlocked at 75% total synchronization. All right, goal time. Goal time, I have a goal now. Only do synchroni total synchronization. I wonder if I can like see. Total synchronization is at 45-ish percent. All right, new goal because I I will be pissed if I would <laughs> if I actually tried to do 100% synchronization. Maybe on my own time in which I can take vigorous breaks. In fact, let's see what one does. Use pistol to kill overseer. Sure thing, my dude. All right, so we're at 45, uh, 44.55 synchronization bonus. Let's see what happens by completing uh, one more. Gun! And now we shall see. Total synchronization went up. Basically 1%, so there's roughly a hundred missions in the game. Alrighty then. Get off that horse! Oh, I can actually do that to him. Good job. So, alright. New goal. N don't fucking 
do the f f right now. I will look at ones that are annoying, and if I deem them to be annoying, I will just ignore them completely. But yeah, there's totally a reason why they didn't go out of their way to say it. It's like, hey, if you don't like our system, you can ignore it up to a point. Like, that's all I wanted to know. Because there should totally be enough side content that are easier to do that when it comes to big... Well, then again, it also depends. It's entirely possible that main missions give more synchronization than side missions. So that'll be something I'll have to worry about. And nope, there is a wall. I wanted to check just to make sure. But all right, new plan. When it comes to stupid tri time trials, I'll... That, like, if I'm enjoying a mission, I'll tell the game to fuck off with its time trials. I'll still get annoyed and rant about it while I enjoy the mission. But at least now I know how to not let the game ruin the game for me. Because, again, it's so incredibly stupid that they implemented the system like this. And even then, when going for certain ones that are slightly annoying, but not as annoying as others, they could still break like that one did. So well, let's see, what is the bonus objective today of annoyance? Do not take damage while in the tank. God fucking damn it. Why? Do not take damage while in the tank. Well, at least I have a new diddly dee. But at least now I have. What do you? I'm in a hay bale. Game. I'M IN A HAY BALE! The absolute... dog shit design of this game. Why? I was in a goddamn hay bale. Like, what? I'm fairly... Like, it would be one thing if I jumped into a hay bale while the guard was suspicious of me. The guard wasn't suspicious of me when I jumped into the hay bale. Like, he might have known that I existed. But it is utterly stupid... ...to have the guard be like, I must, uh, focus on this guy until the end of time. That is just immensely dumb. And I hate it. Oh, do lord, do I hate it. How dare they know that I exist. There he is! Even though they shouldn't know that I exist. Maybe he just dropped dead of a heart attack. Hmm? Because again, my patience for this game is running exceedingly thin. After the game literally broke. Because the they were the too busy trying to jack spy. themselves off on Those difficulty. It's just so dumb. Why? Why is it that they can't just make game good? No, they have to make game exceedingly dumb. Because I wouldn't be as annoyed if it weren't for the fact that I, that I have pre... like, pre-existing annoyance for this game. Oh. 
Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Game, 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 game. I hate you. I'm glad that he didn't notice me, but the fact that I couldn't assassinate him from there is also exceedingly fucking dumb. Am on ledge, enemy within range, assassinate. Done. Your programming logic, all done. Don't tell me that it's gonna be like, uh, continue following him. Okay, good. Oh, no, the game is doing that because the game is fucking stupid. This is dumb. This is very dumb game. That is a very dumb thing game. Like, we know he's in there. He, he can't go far. Where are the plans for the weapon? On the table. At the opposite end of the fortress. The device itself? I am not sure. But you need three people to work it. Come with me, then. No. We... We captured <laughs> three soldiers. They are in a cell across from the plants. They will help you. How... <laughs> how nice of you. And you can't just, like, choke him out, Ezio? Again, checkpoint reached, you know, for all the good that does in this game that hates checkpoints. Why do they look up so much? I wonder if this will, if his body falls, if he'll, like, oh, you alerted the guards? That would be very stupid, considering bodies on slanted roofs, but... Thank you for not sliding off the roof, so we have to test that. That'd be very annoying if I had to test that theory. Keep forgetting that I... Game. I hate you so much. Get out of here. Please don't count as alerting the guards. Can burn the plants. And I need to remember the uh, lose condition is taking damage with the goddamn tank, which again is flying in the face of making the game fun, and I hate it so much. Because it's a new thing, a new way of playing a game. Fuck off, you stupid game. We need tank. Where is Da Vinci's machine? Follow us. They have hidden the path, but we discovered the entrance. Only two of them came out. We're gonna I guess he's dead. Yeah, that, uh, again, just... I am annoyed. By the game's design... So far. With these things. I came from behind him, so we shouldn't have been able to block that. At least kicking exists. At this point, I'm fairly certain that kicking is, like, the only secondary function they added to the game that is actually worth it. Maybe the sped-up, uh, like, hand cannon. I'll kick you, so you can stop that. But yeah, it's just like... 
I'm gonna have to be on the lookout of taking damage in the new machine. His army prepares for a surprise assault on Sicilia. We will stop the attack. How very rude. Yeah, because I'm going to have to basically learn to perfectly pilot the tank. We need to open the gate. I will find a way. And it's like there are any number of secondary things they could have done, but no, it had to be, hey, you know the new thing we added? Do it perfectly. That's such a dumb 100% synchronization objective. Oh, it's right here. I was gonna have to climb. Will there be an item in this chest? Will it be the Sylvaticum that I've been looking for? No. Probably because they knew putting an item in a mission chest would be mean. How does he do that? Magic. Nice move. So yeah. The go-to plan is, if I take any damage in the tank, I am just going to immediately pause. Cause you know that's what we need. Uh, fucking wasting my time. Why? Why can't you just be a nice game? And be like, hey, what's fun? Instead of, hey, what's bullshit? And we'll make people not want to play our game. Why do you. <laughs> why could you. Just not put more of this here, so we can just have a nice stroll. No, we have to stop, and then shimmy. Man, what rigorous gameplay that was. Having to stop and shimmy. Only the most intense, pulse-pounding ga gameplay. Ezio is echoing my current mindset. Do not test me. I will lower the bridge. It's just I want to play the game, have some fun. And then the game is like, no, you don't get to do that. Because we have stupid bullshit. <laughs> How does that even reach the bridge? It's in the opposite wall. In fact, how does it affect the other one? That makes no sense. Very dumb. Leonardo expects me to maneuver this. No instructions, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Hopefully they don't pull any bullshit. Hopefully. Like, that one guy, like, shooting a gun at me better not count as taking damage. Nope, it does not look like it is. But I'm just very scared that they're going to throw bullshit at me. The maneuverability feels off. Basically, use this to snipe. Yeah, I'm just- I'm very, 
very paranoid. At the game. Fearing that it's gonna throw something very shenanigans at me. To force me to take that. That was invisible bullshit. Fuck off. There was nothing there to hit me. Now we have to quit the goddamn game. And hope that that keeps it. Because again, the fuck is a point of goddamn bullshit? Like, just put in a restart from checkpoint button, you dipshits. Uh, and again, invisible wall there. Why? Okay, good. That destroyed them all. I just need to take out all of those as well now, just to be safe. Because who knows? Maybe a random guy with a gun will accidentally hit those. Invisible goddamn bullshit walls. We're gonna create a winding path and make it annoying for you to navigate. See that right there? That is why I do not want to... Incur the ire. Get out of here. I wonder if I can run them over. Like the little, little guys. I'd rather not risk it, though. And now I'm going to have to get into a duel with other tanks, aren't I? Because the little objective tooltip said, destroy Cesare's war machines. Kill, 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 kill. Jesus fucking Christ. Luckily, uh, I did not take any damage. But Jesus Christ, that was very near. Very nearly gonna drive me insane. Can I just shoot it from here? I'm gonna take care of a bunch of stuff just from out here because I'm paranoid. How many cannonballs is in this thing? Multiple! Please dump. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, wait. I think that it might not even... <laughs> I think maybe even quitting this way won't do it again. If so, I'm going to be very, very nettled. Let's look and see. Why? Oh, why? Why, 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 why is it designed like this? Seriously, whoever made these decisions, fuck off to hell. Because this is stupid. So yeah, the only way... Hilarious that the only way to restart from checkpoint properly is to fucking close the application. But we can't do that now. And now I'm not gonna be enjoying enjoying this goddamn mission anymore because it's just like, oh boy. The entire thing is fucking bullshit. My favorite. Yay. 
That's my most amazing favorite thing of video game. The dumbest fucking decisions in the world. It's just very annoying. Come on. I just want to shoot the one before it can shoot me. How convenient that I cannot do that. Wait, it's just very annoying. That they, that they have such utterly stupid design decisions. For their stupid bullshit. You are dribbling army. It's like, why design this shit this way? And again, like, none of this feels good anymore because it's like, Meh, you already failed, meh. Why couldn't it have been destroy all of Cesare's army's, like, infrastructure or something? It still would have affected the combat, but it wouldn't have been nearly as absolutely horrendous. Because, again, that's just bad design. Wish I could keep you. Hey, here's this new gameplay mechanic. Do it perfectly. Oh, by the way, no fucking checkpoints for you. My favorite. Only 50% synchronization. Go fuck yourself, game designers. Because this isn't design. This is game spaghetti. Except that's an insult to spaghetti. You could have spaghetti code, and it would probably be better than some of these designers. The sp why? Because the spaghetti wouldn't have made the 100% synchronization system, which automatically makes it better. Assassin's Creed 2 already existed. And again, it's just like the system doesn't make fun. It just makes... The fun worse. News has spread that all my inventions have been destroyed. The disarray allowed me to work on something just for you. Oh boy. What is this? A new device to drift slowly from any Ah, the parachute. It's not as cumbersome as my flying machine. You can take it everywhere. Grazie, Leonardo. And they just sit there in friendly science. And now let's see, because I forgot that we could just like come here because Back for more designs again. Yeah, because it didn't have like the markings on it or anything, so I didn't know if I could just come back. Climb leap glove. Why is it an upgrade? Poison darts. Interesting. How much money for it? These are very cheap, all things considered. I must return to my workshop. Wait here. So yeah, climb leaping is in the game, but it's a fucking upgrade that you buy, which I Just find to be dumb. And my enemies will fall. Like seriously? Oh, and can I not? And I can't uh, get the climb leap glove now. Can I not get the climb leap glove now? I am again very, very upset. That c why? Why can't I get the climb leap glove now? It was available. Why can I not get it now? What the fuck is wrong with you, game? Why were you made by morons? Because <laughs> that is such a dumb thing. Why? Why? Why can't I do it? Where else can I go? What other... Like, is it a programming thing? Can I only talk to him after one mission? 
Like, I do a mission and then I come back, like, what the fuck? What is your... Why do they have to make it stupid? Why can't they just be like, here is the system, it works, and leave it at that? Why do they have to make it fucking complicated? And, like, not even complicated on the player's end. Complicated in that it's just fucking stupid. Jesus fucking Christ. Go back to flipping burgers. You'll do a better job there, I'm sure. Because this is just utterly stupid. Why can't it just be, hey, Leonardo, make thing for me? No, they have to complicate that shit. It's so fucking dumb. Who knows, maybe if we do this mission, we'll be able to do it, but no, I, I have a fear. I have a fear that it was meant to be, oh, you do mission for Leonardo, and then you go back to Leonardo for items. So it had like a function thing of, he gets deactivated after you use him, and then he only gets reactivated after doing a Leonardo mission. And then since I just, uh, just splurged on the Leonardo missions, that it, I might have missed the climbing glove. Which, again, is fucking stupid. Just why? Why? What stupid intern was let to run the production of this game? And then we're gonna limit the Leonardo interactions and upgrades. And then we're gonna add in an item system and make it very dumb. I'm just ever more, ever more infuriated by this game. Ezio! What are you doing here? I only just came back to Firenze. Look at you. Hey, it even has, like, the later armor. And I've thought of nothing but you. Oh, but Ezio... You got someone else. It? I'm engaged to be married. My father kept asking me to choose. I thought I would never see you again. Ah! It's Manfredo! He's going to kill him! What? Italy, What's going on? To. He's dragged him out to the end of the new bridge. Who the hell is Manfredo? My fiancé! I'll go save him. <laughs> Now for actual fun gameplay, because it has no dumbass streams strings attached. It's just absolutely loathsome design in the main game. Wait. Why do I not have the sword? Grazie, Messere. You don't know how close. Whoa, hey, Aspetta, what are you doing? Do you love her? What? Do you love her? Christina, the woman you're about to marry. Yes, I do. I, I swear I do. Kill me here and I will I still loving her. You are never going to gamble again. Never, I say. Go there and be a good, good husband. husband. Or I will hunt you down. Kill you myself. So this is why she doesn't show up later. At least it explains it nicely. He's fine. He'll make a good husband. I made sure of it. What? Although it is kind of funny that those missions go really fast. And I guess in some way, the 100% synchronization isn't overly terrible, because you still get 50% synchronization for completing missions regardless. But still, 
the fact that there are, like, missions tied to it is still ever so slightly annoying for how they do things. And again, the lack of being able to go, hey, can I just go back to a checkpoint from before I failed? And then I could just ignore the, like, it feels like this mission, this whole system is just very, very poorly planned out. And again, they don't let you know, like, oh, don't worry about, like, only doing a certain number of them. But yeah, it looks like I missed out on the climbing glove. Because this fucking system was made by idiots. Like, unless it moved about somewhere. Like, who knows? Maybe we can go back there, sit down, and grab it, but I doubt it. We're gonna try, I guess, and then exit the Animus, check things, but... Like, why? Why is this designed this way? Can I only choose two upgrades to get? Did I fuck up by all, by doing all of the Leonardo missions and then going back because they programmed it like morons? How hard is it to say Leonardo stays there after complete all missions? Please let me interact with the goddamn bench. This game was made by morons. Why? That is such a fucking oversight. Why? This game came out in like 2011. And then this collection came out. Far, far later. The absolute fuck is wrong with the brains of the people that made this. Like, something has to be physically wrong with you to fuck this up. Genuinely. There is no reason for Leonardo to fuck off to realms unknown without me getting my leaping glove. Then again, there is no reason the leaping glove should be a leaping glove. It should just be something that you already have. Just absolutely incomprehensible and dumb and fucking stupid and moronic. Throw them all into a volcano. What do you want? You spoke of a senator at the meeting. Find him on the Campidoglio. You do not need me. Once I kill the banker, your girls must take his money back to the underground. Fine. Stay alert. Do not be detected while escorting the senator. Again, just absolutely, like... Like, honestly, the fact that they fucked that up. Not only do they go, hey, here's this thing that you learnt over the course in this previous game. Let's relegate it to an item that you can miss, apparently. Intentional or not, it's missable. That almost makes me want to stop playing the game that pisses me off so much. Because it just, it shouldn't be a fucking thing. Is it really that hard to s program in Leonardo unlocked after all missions complete? It's just like there is no excuse for this. Absolutely no excuse, and it's just going to overshadow everything for the foreseeable future. I'll want to be playing the game, and then I'll just be reminded, oh yeah, this game fucking sucks. Because they kept changing stupid bullshit. No, there is that senator. For no goddamn reason. At this rate, I may very well prefer like the later games that people are like, oh, they stray away from their core. Well, the core is actually kind of shit if this is what the core is. No more arguing. Your bill has come due. Make an exception for an old man. No. A banker sent us to collect. I will have his money momentarily. Not good enough. Uh, uh, uh. 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 
But now it's like all the time that I'm playing this game, I'll just forever be reminded, oh yeah, stupid bullshit. Roma. I thought they were a dying breed. Senator Egidio Troche. I don't owe you money too, <laughs> do I? I'm looking for Cesare's banker. Ha! Cesare Borgia. And you are? A friend of the family. Cesare has a lot of friends these days. Unfortunately, I'm not one of them. I can pay. Ma che meraviglia! He fights guards and he gives away money. <laughs> Where have you been all my life? We better get out of here. I know a place. Segui. And we need to uh, like get away from You're guards. You have to protect me, though. The guards aren't being very friendly, if you know what I mean. Let's see. Do not be detected while escorting the bad man. Medicine is the wondrous art mm. of healing. Someone really wants you dead. A few months ago, my brother Francesco, the Pope Chamberlain... I know, I know, don't get me started. He told me of Cesare's plan for Romagna. I wrote to the ambassador of Venezia, warning him. One of my letters must have been intercepted. Is that literally the only way down? That's... The Senate has nothing to do these days. The Borgia have taken all the power. You know what it's like to not have got so to do? Change it. A man. I admit I've been gambling, drinking, and whoring. Oh, you're good. Was it the perfume on my sleeve? Something like that. Why can't I lock on to them? This is an expensive way of doing it, but hey. Senators used to petition about real issues like unlawful cruelty, abandoned children. Now we write up legislation on the appropriate width of women's sleeves. Not you. You raise money for false causes to pay back your gambling debts. False causes. I am interested in pursuing them as soon as I am financially able to do so. You ever look at the grave and think this is the most significant thing I will ever do? Out of the way, civilians. I have a man to kill. Yeah, that is just a very mean placement of them. Especially when it's don't get detected. All in all, maybe I picked the right upgrade to get before Leonardo buggered off to Realms Unknown. Um d d d d d d They spawned out of nowhere. Oh Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. There is no fucking reason for that. Just what the fuck? That is literally only there to like ruin the synchronization. It is not safe here. We must keep moving. Just what the fuck? That is just immensely dumb. What's your problem? Why? What the fuck do they expect you to do? I threw down a smoke bomb and they're like, oh no, you still got detected. Motherfucker, you just spawn dudes onto them. And again, there's no way to like really redo it. And I have no want to redo it because apparently this entire mission is just fucked design-wise. Hurdly her, we're gonna do dumb shit. Also, I hate that there's like no real double assassination anymore, apparently. 
No, shoot this asshole. Again, just immensely annoyed at all of this. The people just can't make fun games anymore. They have to put in stupid bullshit. Because why make thing good when you can make thing bad? Will you follow, asshole? We cannot stop here. Too many guards. Come, good folk. See latest design. They're attacking me. Design. Yeah, these missions are just not ingratiating me towards them. Just at all. In any shape, way, or form. What the damn is coming? Have you lost your mind? Be gone from here, Shamo. And it's just like, the moment that the design of the mission is influenced by how much bullshit you can shove into it, to make it harder for the like the player is the moment that you can just promptly like fuck off. That I just have no patience for. Why, game? You dipshit fucking game. Made by fifth graders on goddamn acid. Hey, game, it's almost like that's not what's equipped, you dick shit. I'm just immensely getting angry over all the small little things that just feel like... Like, some of it is just stupid. That are just like, oh, okay, fine. Like the, ooh, I'm actually gonna flick away when you're trying to shoot this guy. Fine, whatever. But it's compounded by the fact that the rest of it is made by just stupid decisions. Why did that attack animation take so fucking long? Again, just... Probably a nitpick, but Jesus fucking Christ, game, you have no goodwill here. Like you have no goodwill here, game. You have squandered it in five billion different ways. Just so many stupid design decisions. And glitches and issues and why the fucks do this even exist? should never have sent them to the ambassador. Now Cesare will murder me. Benvenuto to the home of my brother Francesco. Thank God he's not here. We haven't talked since he found out about the letters. What did you want again? <laughs> Cesare's banker. Right. I need to arrive with the money. Problem is, there is no money. I can give you, you the are money. the banker. Where? I never know until I'm there. I go to one of three places. Then his friends take me to him. I will bring you all the money you owe. Sul serio? You need to stop this. You might actually give me hope. It's just like I, I, just five billion different ways the game just I gets on my nerves. I believe you would just do this. There is a condition. I knew it. <laughs> Keep an eye on the politics of the city. I want you to report back to Maria at Rosa in Fiore about targets who are helping the Borgia. And what? You'll make them disappear? Yes. The pezzo di merda may hate me, but he's still family. <laughs> Va bene, we go. I will follow you to the banker. Do not be detected and do not touch the ground while touching the senator. Or tailing the senator. 
The touching of the senator comes later. Man, just immensely annoyed at the design decisions with this game. Because again, the base game is frickin' fine. Probably great. But it's just poisoned by so many design decisions that just evoke what the fuck. I wonder if that counts as ground, because it has plants. I would laugh. Ah, well. Do not be detected and do not touch the ground while tailing the sender. So I guess it doesn't start now. It only starts once I start tailing the sender, I guess. Because you know, the game is so consistent that I can trust it. Egidio, it seems you are ready to die like a gentleman. I have the money. Oh. <laughs> different, uh, the banker will be pleased. You came alone? Of course. Do you see anyone else here? Follow me, Furbacchione. Have you heard anything about my brother Francesco? Cesare is dealing with him. I hope he's all right. So, what are you going to do with my money? The banker likes to treat his friends well. How generous he is. What did you say? I said that he is very generous. Nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's just like, there are just so many secondary systems in this game that just fuck with the base experience that I just wonder why. Why do they exist? Why can't the base experience just allowed to be allowed to exist and be fun? There's so very little of all this that needs to exist. The shop quests don't need to exist. The very, like, existence of the item system doesn't really need to exist. Like so many secondary mini things just do not need to exist in this game, and yet they do, and they muddle it and just make things worse. Gonna see where they turn, just so. Okay, good. Because again. If only I could just ignore the 100% synchronization. And while I can to a point now, I can't ignore it entirely. I need to at least get to 75% synchronization, which probably means doing at least 50% of the 100% synchronization bonuses, I estimate. So I just, I do not know. I do not know. I just find it very frustrating. That they're like adding so much random stuff in that they can't just ha have it be fun. No, not a gun. Come on, lock on to him. I hate your game. Be gone. <laughs> All right, 
Now where are you going to go? That way I figured. Are they going to go to the building that I own? The real question is... Uh... Okay, good. Egidio brought the money. Well, well. The banker has a special evening plan. I will be delivering your payment. Give it here. Coercion. Until I get back. I better not lose sight of the money. You should be off here. Okay, that's just very rude game. And I'm going to assume that I can touch the ground now. Do not be detected and do not touch the ground while tailing the senator. We technically fulfilled all that. We... We did all that now. So I should be able to... Just like... I swear if this breaks I'm gonna be angry. Okay, good. It doesn't seem like it did. Because again, while I'm not caring as much about the 100% synchronization bonus shit... It's just like, I still need to hit a quota with it. So of course I'm going to be ever so slightly still angry about it. And again, I'm still also angry over the fact that the game stole away my leaping glove. Which would, would have been nice to have. Would have been nice if the game, like, you know wasn't, uh, made by m m absolute mongoloids 500 years ago. Because again, I just, I have no sympathy whatsoever. It was like, such bad design decisions have to come from somewhere to the point that it's just like, no, fuck off, this is stupid, and uh, no sympathy, no mercy. This just like, some of this stuff should not exist. Some of these mistakes should not exist. And my eternal frustration exists forever. Uh, aha, there we go. Slowly climb down. Now go kill that senator. Why is it still taking my control away? Assassinate. Everything going well in there. We have to go, Luigi, or we'll be late. Luigi. The count is complete. Va bene. Kill him. No. Lucky you. <laughs> Lucky you. Luigi says he gets to live. Lead the way, boss. And now, disguised as a chest carrier, lead the guards to the banker's location without being detected. Listen to their reactions to determine the correct route. Arrive at your destination in less than three minutes. Now we're going the right way. We're on track. Good, good. I like that there's a suspicion level. The route you are taking is very... Going this way makes no... S uh, where are we going? Um... Maybe their, like... Detection now way... We good is weird. Uh, 
easing the banker the other way? We're on track. Uh, where are we going? Respectfully, what do you mean? The fuck? Now we're going the right way. But you said that you this is wrong. Now we are making good time. I am very angry. What the fuck? Whoever made this. And the thing is, I'm just gonna restart the memory because that's so fucking stupid. How can it be that I'm going the wrong goddamn way when it's like, we are on track and we're going wide that way, so... I'm going to say, no, this is maybe the right way then. Despite the fact that it, like, shouldn't be. They shouldn't be saying... Yes, that, that's just very weird. The way that was done. Senor, are you all right? We're on track. Better be this time. Now we are making good time. The route you are taking is very interesting. We're on track. The idea of this mission is cool, but the execution, by the mere fact that it we could go all the way around there that and thing turn bad is just very dumb. I hope they let us the route you are taking is very we're on track. And again it's a pseudo escort mission, so it's also annoying. And again three goddamn minutes. I hope they let us uh, soon the party will be all around us. It's another goddamn diddly d, which annoys me. I hope they let us go inside. Oh, the noise made things sound weird. We're on track. Oh, I forgot. I could actually do this. Senor, are you all right? Now we are making good time. Do you think he's now the road you are taking is very? I hate that. Where the fuck do I go then? Hope they let us go. Soon the party will be all around us. We are nearly there. You keep saying that, but I highly doubt that we're gonna. Signore, I am not questioning your authority, but should we not but, get but, going? But, 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 you no, said... This way makes no sense. Signor, are you all right? Oh, so it's not even... Now we are making good okay, time. so, the, yeah, this is a dumb mission. Calling it now, this is a dumb mission. It's not going the wrong way. It's like going the wrong way in relation to them, which is dumb. And yep, we're not. We're not getting it because this is stupid bullshit. You failed. Yeah, because you're you're a dumbass game made by terrible people with no souls. But all right then, since this one is relatively simple, I'm going to restart. Because fuck you, game. Once again, very annoying that they're like, oh, we're not going to actually give you the timer. Partly my fault, because I did forgot that I could actually, like, hold R2 to r run while holding something. But immensely just kind of dumb. Now we are making good time. Soon this job will be over. We're on track. The 
That is actually a better way, my friends. But you are dumb and monsters of habit. Now we are making good time. Soon this job will be over. So yeah. Now we are making good time. I have no shame about slightly cheating with that restart because the game is just very rude. Very rude about how it went about things. And it just has continually only gotten more and more rude like the more that I have played it. Indeed, my fault. But at the same time, I feel like that is... We were always going the right way. It's just you guys are kind of dumb. I dearly hope that the 100% synchronization bonus objectives do not return for revelations. Dearly, dearly, dearly. So is it that building there? It does have a rooftop prison. There we go. Hand me the chest, Luigi. I will bring it to the bank. You may enter. We can't go in. Both poor guys. Patrol by order of Cesare. Poor Capitana. That guy's helmet is cool. Is he here? Luigi has been killed. We discovered his body at the Pantheon. Luigi? We just let him in. <laughs> Hilarious. Follow the money and to get to the banker. Kill him and escape. Kill the banker from a bench without being detected. That was a slightly mean, but alright. Tell Claudia that the banker is here. To follow the money. Get in, sit on a bench. For some reason, I think I remember, like, the model of the banker, at least I think it was the banker in the diddly-dee, was a uh, very, uh... I was reminded, like, I, I just felt like I've seen it before. Still annoyed that guards that I don't intend to distract steal away my courtesans. But harassing the ones that How did I how did I lose them? Hello. Hello. Mind if I walk with you? Yeah. I mean I do not mind. I've never been to a festival. The old ruins make me nervous. I can protect you. I can. This is very odd. It's not mine. But you are holding it in the strong arms of yours. You want to touch them? What can I tell the priest in confession? Now, ah, let's see. People don't care. Good. So this is one of those odd parties where people just get naked. I want to, I just want to disguise with a group of people. 
And then I need to get onto a bench and kill him from a bench for synchronization purposes. I don't think the guards, like, uh, warrant a... Oh, totally makes sense. Money for you, banker. I will take that. And that. You are dismissed. Where did I put my crime purse? <laughs> Honoratissima. Welcome to my party. I am Juan Bull. Cesare is about to speak in the main room, Eccellenza. Come. Huh. So this is how they get the money. <laughs> Are you happy? Yes, Excellence, I am. There is so much. Oh, good. I spared no expense. I can attend. The finer things in life make power so I see an apple. I can pluck. Now yours. No one will stop. Well, it depends who's still. You don't seem to understand. I own all the truth. Not mine. On the contrary, I watched you steal my guard's money. I believe I've earned a free ride as repentance. In fact, I want you to hear all my luck. Very, very rude, very, very rude. I need to do it from a bench, but I don't see any benches. Hilarious that Cesare is here. What better way to celebrate my victories than to join in the Brotherhood? Of Even Rodrigo's here. Soon! We will be here once more, celebrating a united Italia. And then, the feasting will last for 40 days and 40 nights. Cominciamo ora! Would there even be enough food and drink for 40 days and nights? We did not agree to conquer Italia. If your brilliant Captain General says we can do it, why not rejoice and let it happen? You risk upsetting the delicate balance of control we have worked so hard to tighten. I appreciate all that you have done for me, but I have the army, so I am making the decision. Hilarious. Don't look so glum. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Don't look so glum. Edward. <gasps> that was very mean, putting a guard right next to me. Bench, bench. I need a bench. Hilarious that it's like, ah, oh, kill him from a bench while also advocating poison. Like, maybe because it wants me to poison him while he walks by instead of putting him on. Oh, yeah, you can poison enemies while... Well, this is like the nearest bench, so hopefully he'll just patrol on by. But the game can be rude. Maybe there's another bench over there, and he only patrols that, like, circuit. From the looks of things, yes. Don't tell me he's gonna patrol all the way over here now. That'd be mean. Beyond 
What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Game. That is so fucking stupid. Fuck off. That is so fucking stupid. Why does the AI pathing on the goddamn courtesans do it? It's just like, if I have them near me in proximity, just let them cover me, you assholes. And now I have to do so much fucking bullshit to get back there. God fucking damn it, this is so stupid. Once again, this game was made by morons. Is it really that fucking hard to be like, hey, there should be certain amounts of allowance that the players can play the goddamn game? It's just so annoying. When they're like, hey, do this thing. By the way, we're gonna make it incredibly difficult to do this thing. Why? Just make game. Make game be played. It's just frustrating. For no reason. Other than to be frustrating. And just feels unacceptable. <laughs> Come on, allies, <laughs> allies, allies, allies. Because okay, last time we came by, I think I lost my courtesans. It might have been due to the fact that. My courtesans, like from the, the like previous group, maybe. Hello. Like I don't know. Hello. Mind if I walk with you? Yeah. I mean, I don't mind. I've never been to the before. The old ruins make me nervous. I what the? F I if they are entranced by the courtesans. How can they look at me? Game. Why is this made so stupidly? And again, why can't there just be like actual good checkpoints in this goddamn game? Hello. Then again, it doesn't really matter because you can't make use of the goddamn checkpoints. I mean, I do not know. I've never been to the state of the The old ruins make me know It's just so frustrating. I can protect you. I bet. That is Just want to play a game. It's not mine. But you are holding it in the strong arms of yours. You want to attack Why is it so hard to just make things fun? Okay, good. He got distracted. Also, a little weird that they basically force you to assassinate guards from hay bales. A little weird. A little odd. And again, I just really wish that there was a simpler way to just be like, hey, can I just, you know, just <laughs> restart from a checkpoint that's like reliable? Because last time, because one time I restart, like, just cut the entire game, returned, and it, like, it worked, it reset the challenge. But then the last time that I did it, it didn't work, and I hate it. It just feels frustrating, the design decisions of this. Game, game, game. It's so dumb. 
And again, uh, distract guards, but guards still on the lookout for me. Extra dumb. What's even the point of distracting them if it doesn't distract them? I believe I've earned a free ride. Repent. In fact, I want to And I need to find, like, a better way of doing things. Because the courtesan, like, again, just really wish I could just restart from checkpoints. Just utterly frustrating. Skip the cutscene, because bugger off. Also find it just ever so slightly mean that the only courtesans are over there. How can you help? All right. And again, like the maneuvering in this area feels very funky. And again, I just really wish being near the courtesans would. Oi, 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 oi! Courtesans, why? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Jesus fucking Christ! Why are you like this? That is so bad design that they literally move away from me when I'm trying to live. Oi, 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 oi. This is dumb. This is incredibly dumb. I hate it. And now, yeah, the courtesans, they do not function, at least in this mission, where the guards are being distracted but can still, like, acknowledge me and find me, that is dumb. The courtesans, for whatever reason, shuffling right out of my range, which would have freaking killed me. Very frustrating. Is this our first the real felt, seen, tasted? <laughs> confession? I do not regret the moment of it. The men of power must be contemptuous of delicacies. But I gave the people what they wanted. And now you pay for it. Il piacere e meritato si consuma da se. Reguiescat in pace. Feels a bit weird because we didn't know about this guy all that much. Well, like, maybe saw him once before. Didn't even know what his deal was. We just know he's related to the Borgia. He's Batman. I don't think this is far enough away. But then again, maybe they won't get to me in time by the time their search meters are done. Thank God that counted. I don't think I would have, like, survived if the game was like, eh, fuck you. Didn't work. Let's just see here. Is there any biggie biggie ones that give items from any of these? 
Because if not, I'm not even going to bother, because... Yeah, if all they are are money and experience, I'm not even going to bother. Portrait? Oh, yeah, because we killed him, and for whatever reason, Ezio is a serial killer and loves to have a memento of his kills. Which also means that all the portraits of the, like, Depazzi and stuff from Assassin's Creed 2 are all gone. Hilarious. But that'll probably be it for now, because we've been going for a while, and the game is just, like, ever, like, ever more frustration, 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 again and again and again and again and again and again and again. Oh, wait, I know. We'll end by leaving the Animus. We will leave the Animus, read emails and stuff, talk to people, since the game says so. We won't go running about because I don't think there's anything actually out there that matters. Like, who knows, maybe we'll end outside the Animus, explore outside at the beginning of next time. Just for Welcome giggles. Back, but, yeah. Ever more just frustration at the various things. Let's see. Unmarked van. Hey guys, just a quick heads up. There was a white unmarked van parked across the street when I went to get batteries yesterday, and it was still there today when I came back with the food. It's a little too nondescript for my liking, and it's the right size for surveillance gear. Uh, gear. I checked again a few minutes ago, and it was gone, but keep an eye out. Sean Hastings. Quick update on our remaining counterparts around the globe. Moscow, they remain safe and secure. They are currently chasing a potential lead on another piece of Eden, so fingers crossed on that. I've done a little research from them myself, and I've confirmed a few of their suspicions, so it's looking good at the moment. Sao Paulo, they had to move safe houses again, and this time it was too close. It's suspected there's a leak on their team, so headquarters is looking into it. It's likely the team will go dark soon to try and flush out the mole. Hopefully they can catch it before it catches up to them, but they support it, so that's a plus. Osaka, as per plan, they're still dark. They're scheduled to make contact with headquarters in 72 hours, so they're hopefully okay and have lost their tail. More updates to come. Nice little flavor texts there. Now let's see. You... Oh, that's all deleted. Bleh. I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel the same way sometimes, but when I do, I try to think about what I could would become of this world if we weren't fighting this fight. It is hard, Rebecca, and that's why we were chosen, like me, because you can endure. But I know you're resilient. It doesn't make you invincible. Come by my room in the morning and we can talk about it, uh, about whatever. <laughs> oh no, that's just more... <laughs> Hey, Lucy, this is getting harder and harder. I miss my family. I miss my dog. I miss my life. I know what we're doing is important, but I can't help but feel this way, especially when we're spinning our wheels like we're now. I guess all I'm saying is I need someone to talk to, and you're the only person who understands. I guess there's Sean, but he just makes sarcastic comments. I just don't want that right now. Understandable. The Anger of Italian Apes. Dear Lucy, I regret to inform you I'll no longer be able to trek into town for the foreseeable future. I'll spare you the gory details, but suffice to say, an exchange of words, hand gestures, and grunts with large Italian fellow have made it clear to me he plans to murder your favorite male co worker on sight. I am truly sorry for any inconvenience in my cause. Sincerely, Sean. And. Huh. Oh, that's it. Hello, Sean. Here's an update of team locations and activities for you to pass on to the others. You'll probably be contacted by one of the members from Sao Paulo. You're their lifeline, so be ready. You'll be glad to know that everyone here is safe for the time being. I'm sure Lucy told you that you're, uh, you'll all be coming here once you have the piece of, uh, apple of Eden, not piece of Eden. I don't know what you've heard about this place, but there will be a lot here to show you. I know you're going to love lots of history. Moscow, the remains safe and secure. They're currently chasing a potential lead on another piece of Eden, so fingers crossed on that one. I've done a little research for them myself. Oh. So he literally just copy and pasted that. 
I wouldn't share this one with the others yet. I don't want to alarm the, uh, them until absolutely necessary. Denver. Off the grid, and this one isn't planned. It looks like we may have lost another one. Headquarters is investigating. You're still going <laughs> uh, going in when it's your turn. If you need me to hold your hand and protect you from the big bad man, just ask. Oh, eats. Ah, that's what it, the eats was. That that nice pasta dish I like, thanks. Because I have no euros, so thanks in advance. And that's the update. <laughs> Re-re the anger of Italian apes. Fine, but when the brute eats my pancreas, you'll be without a data manager. <laughs> he is a funny little man. Interesting that, like, he was ordered to keep things away from, like, the the others. William M. Oh, I guess we should probably go to Outbox and go to... Hmm. There is no bleeding effect, so I guess this is from an older email that we don't have access to. Your last email troubled me, more for your sake than the fate of the project. I have no idea what has gone into you, but you're going to come down with an ulcer if you don't relax a little. You're doing excellent work. There's nothing for you to worry about in terms of Desmond, however. I think you're somewhat justified in your concern. I need you to keep an eye on him and report anything you observe that might be relevant. When you can, when you get back here, we'll rush tests on him. But I'm sure, you, uh, but I'm sure on your watch there'll be no need to worry. Take care of yourself and get some sleep. Sean Hastings, Rebecca. So, and nothing else. So we'll talk to everyone, see if there's anything new. What happened to Katarina Sforza? She went back to Florence and petitioned unsuccessfully for the return of her lands. Then she died of pneumonia. That's sad. That's life. <laughs> well, that's death, technically. You take my point. So there isn't really an end end to her story. We're going to visit the head assassins? I heard about this meeting place when I was younger. Apparently it exists, though I'm not sure, because I've never been. You'll get to see it once we have the apple. Well, I expect amazing things. A private espresso bar, for example. What a waste of money. <laughs> you obviously aren't an espresso drinker. <laughs> I like Sean. I'm busy right now. He's a funny little man. Are we gonna get any food in here? People who don't work, don't eat. I'm kidding. <laughs> you knew I was kidding, right? Right. Smile and nod. <laughs> Someone just volunteered to get the food. <laughs> it was worth it. Hilarious. <laughs> Although, kind of mean, Lucy. Carnivore. Yeah. <laughs> Hypocrite. Did you know plants give off chemicals which attract predatory insects when they're attacked? Sounds pretty animal-like to me. You know too much for your own good. That's what my priest used to say. Interesting and odd <laughs> interaction there. How's the power situation? It's okay for now, but the power lines are from the Stone Age. Bloody third world country. You're <laughs> talking about Italy. No, Europe in general. I didn't know England was a third world country. England is not in Europe, actually, Rebecca. We we tolerate Europe, you know? Like like a person tolerates herpes. How oddly topical in a way. How did you manage to create a copy of the Animus? Ah, you know, Lucy sent me schematics. I thought she couldn't get anything out of Abstergo. She had her ways. I improvised on the rest. Huh. Where is Lucy? She's not here anymore. Well, I guess that'll go in with heading outside next time we begin. But very amusing. But yeah, to just wrap up thoughts, it's like this somehow feels like a little bit of a downgrade to Assassin's Creed 2 because the unnecessary synchronization of, of like bonus objectives 
primarily them, just really get in the way of everything else. There are a few other minor things, but that, that's the main annoyance right now. Because it's in, like, literally infecting the base game. So there's really no way to get away from it. And again, the fact that up to 75% synchronization, the memories are, like, locked behind that bonus just doesn't feel good. I just want to play the game and get as much of the, like, main content as possible. And it's just like, I feel like the bonus objectives could have just used a second draft. Less time, like, time trials, more, like, honest-to-God, secondary, hey, you can do this things. It just feels very clunky and off, especially because, again, there's no real way to access the checkpoint system. There's... and the one way that I thought we had... Hmm. That doesn't seem electrically safe. But the one way that I thought we had, which was... Bibbidi Bog uh, just cut the game entirely and then restart, didn't seem to work for the tank. Which is just very frustrating. Again, because that's just wonderful game design. Hey, take this brand new thing that you've never done before and perfect it for this mission. What a bonus objective. I'm, I'm going to be straight with you. Cyberpunk 2077 is a better game than this. It's a blander game, but Jesus Christ, it doesn't have as near as annoying things as this does. And I'm fairly certain that I've run into a similar amount of glitches in this game as I have with Cyberpunk 2077. Sure, not as many graphical glitches, but those are funny and usually don't break the game. Meanwhile, I ran into a soft lock in Cyberpunk 2077 when I first played it, like, really close to launch. Meanwhile, this is an ancient-as-fuck game in a relatively old re-release remaster collection, and it also had a soft lock that was brought on by the damn bonus objective system. Oh yeah, and I forgot, I also lost the leaping glove because apparently Leonardo is tied to the Leonardo missions, so you can only visit him after doing one mission. Then you get one thing from him, then he disappears. Or who knows, maybe you can only get two things from him. I don't know. All I know is I don't have my fucking leaping glove anymore. Which is just very, 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 very bad. But you know what? We're here. I'm gonna Google search. Let's see. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, leaping glove, and see what comes up. Because, again, that is just, like, the Climb Leap Glove. Let's see what the IGN says about the secret equipment. Well, apparently there's... Oh, that's secret equipment, but blah. Nope. Because, again, it would be very bad design if the climbing glove, like, is missable. Oh, there are a few benches sprinkled out that you can, uh, and he'll appear. Okay, so it's not a thing, but it's just like, it feels very, like, hit or miss. Which is just very bad, if you ask me. Because, again, it, the bench just disappeared. So I guess I'll have to just look for other benches. Like, fuck it. Maybe I'll go in and, like, look for benches myself. Focusing on this. So, yeah, that's what I'll probably do. I'll probably leap back into the Animus, look for Leonardo benches, 
and just grab the goddamn leaping glove. Because, again, it just should have been a, uh, the bench. It should just be that one bench. But I guess it's like, oh, we're gonna have Leonardo paint a hand on random benches around Rome. Which is dumb. Especially when it's not highlighted on the map. But fine. Fine, I guess. Like, I, it didn't really feel like that was what that was tutorializing. I didn't even feel like a tutorial. It just feels very dumb. Blurr. But yeah, it's just like... It doesn't help that they're, it's like they're, they're overly complicating things that shouldn't be overcomplicated. Just let us talk to Leonardo to get things. Oh, but he's working for the Vatican and needs to be blah, blah, blah. No, I don't care. Just have a secret bench that I sit on and Leonardo comes to me. That's it. That's all you need to do. You don't need to randomize the fucking benches that I can meet Leonardo on. Because I thought that it was glitched. I just accepted, like, it did not enter my mind that, oh, maybe they want you to find other benches because it wasn't on the map. It wasn't on the map. I didn't see any Leonardo diddly D on the map anywhere, so I just thought it glitched. Who knows, maybe it still is glitched. I don't know, but I still say that Cyberpunk 2077 is a more fun game. And it hurts because I I remember really liking Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood. Because again, I thought that I beat Brotherhood, and who knows, maybe I didn't, my memory's just shot, but... Cyberpunk 2077 just is more fun and honestly less glitchy than this. <laughs> like, it's just better designed overall. Which is just sad. On the... R <laughs> just off the top of my head... When it comes to open world games, Skyrim is still king of, like, the modern open world game, although I personally prefer Morrowind. And then I would put, uh, like, Cyberpunk above this. Because there's just, there's too much shenanigans going on. Too many stupid little side systems that are encroaching upon the main game. In my, opin in my opinion, the main base game shouldn't be touched by secondary systems that could infect it. Like the 100% synchronization system. That just shouldn't, it shouldn't exist. I very much don't like it at all. <laughs> but uh, that should be it for now. We we went for a long time. My rage did rage. Much of a rage. But yes, thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, when it comes to streams, I stream on the YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games, of which also all of these streams eventually end up as VODs. So if you want to catch up on previous streams that you may have missed, you can hit up the YouTube channel Neon Icy Games for all Neon Icy Wings streaming content of the past. If you prefer to watch on Twitch, I also dual stream on Twitch and the YouTube channel Neon Icy Games. But I'm also slowly working towards reviving my main channel, Neon Icy Wings, of which my first diddly D should be coming out sometime in the nearish future. Again, hopefully before the end of the year. I, ho I grab a good flow of creation content by then. So be on the lookout for that. If you want other... Th oh yeah, and I guess just a side thing. If you want to know when I go live, just follow me on Twitter and I send out a tweet for whenever I go live. So that you don't have to worry about things, because I know that, like, Twitter, I mean, Twitch and YouTube are kind of mad at alerting you for when streams go live. Although you can also go to my Twitch and its schedule tab to see if I'll be streaming the evening of that day. I try to keep that up to date. <coughs> ah, sorry, throat is killing me. As for other things, if you want to see more, like my uh, little avatar in the corner, I... Diddly D, post art that I make on Twitter, DeviantArt, Twitter, DeviantArt, Tumblr, and uh, Newgrounds, yes. My brain, for whatever reason, decided to have a d -d -d. So if you want more art from me, like my little side character, you can hit them up there, all at Neon Icy Wings, except for the Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, that should be all. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time 
hopefully with better overall feelings now that I know that I can skip some synchronization 100% bonus objectives and that apparently I didn't miss the Leaping Glove. They just decided to have a stupid as fuck system on getting to talk to Leonardo. Game is weird. But yes, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.